Hello 105, my name is Brittany Teacher and today we are going to finish our AHA Grammar 2 book. We are going to do units 23 and 24 and we're going to do our review. So let's open up and get started. Page 90, ah, page 104. There is, there isn't, there blah blah blah. Okay? Affirmative, negative, oh, is there? Affirmative, negative, and question. Affirmative means yes. Negative means no. Question means question. Okay, so there are different ways to use there is, there isn't, and is there. And we need to pay attention to whether something is countable or non-countable. Can you count something or not? We covered this earlier in the grammar, AHA Grammar 2 book. Remember, something is countable if we can count how many of something there are. For example, if you have pens, how many pens? You can count. One, two, three. There are three pens. So the noun pens are countable. What about the noun water? Can you count how many water? No, you can count how many water bottles. The bottle is countable. I have one water bottle, but how many water? You can't count that, right? So this is non-countable. I don't say I have many waters, right? because you can't count how many, how much of this I have, okay? You can only count a measurement of water. For example, how many liters of water, but you can't just count an unknown amount of water because this is liquid. So we don't say waters, we just say water. I have some water, okay? So that's a non-count noun. Well, we're going to change whether or not we use there is or there are based on whether or not it's a countable or uncountable noun. Here are some examples. There is an apple. We can count how many apples we have, right? So we use there is. There are two apples. Okay, we can count how many apples we have, so we can still use there are. If we have more than one, we say there are. There are some apples, again, more than one, so we're going to use there are. But what if we're using an uncountable noun, like milk or water? We don't say there are, we have to say there is. There is some milk. And the word some is very important because that means we don't know how much of something we have. If it's a liquid like water, milk, juice, something we drink, okay, we don't have a count, countable amount, so we always say is and we always use the word some. Negative, countable, there isn't an apple. So if I say, oh, is there an apple? You will say, no, there isn't an apple, one apple. There aren't any apples, any apples. If I say, do we have any apples? You will say, no, we don't have any apples. There aren't any apples. Are there any apples in the refrigerator? No, there aren't any apples in the refrigerator. What if we have something, again, like milk that we can't count? And do I say, if I say, is there any milk in the refrigerator? You will say, there isn't any milk. Again, the word any is important. We wouldn't say there isn't milk. We have to say any. Just like in the affirmative, we have to say some. Here we have to say any, okay? Next question, is there an apple? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Are there any apples? Yes, there are, no, there aren't. Uncountable. Is there any milk? Again, we can still say is there, just like in the question form. So the countable and non-countable question form doesn't change. Is there, is there, but instead of saying an, we will say any. Are there any apples? 
Is there any milk? Yes, there is or no, there isn't. Again, that word any, very important. Don't forget it. Let's look at some more examples. Let's look at the two tables. They have some items on there. Let's practice saying what is there and what isn't there. There is a pencil case. There are two notebooks. There are some pencils. There aren't any erasers. Are there any books? Yes, there are. Okay. How about the kitchen table? There is some bread. There is some milk. There isn't any juice. Is there any jam? Yes, there is. Is there any butter? No, there isn't. Jam and butter are both non-countable items. Okay, so practice saying these sentences by yourself. Get used to listening to how these uh, sentences are supposed to sound. Okay, let's go to the next page. Read in circle. We need to choose between is and are, or isn't and aren't. Remember, when we're choosing between is and are, the only thing you need to check would be how many of something there are, okay? If there's one of a noun, we use is or isn't. If there are two or more, are and aren't. Let's check our nouns, okay? Number one, there is or are some cookies. Some cookies, cookies, more than one, right? Because it ends in an S and we see the word some, okay? Some means more than one also. And so we're going to use the word our. There are some cookies. What about number two? There is or are a kangaroo. A means how many? One. And kangaroo does not end in an S, so we know there's only one. So what should we choose, is or are? We need to choose is, that's right. So circle the word is. Complete the rest by yourself. Okay? Use the chart on the previous page to help you. Next one. B, choose and write. Again, we need to choose between there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't. We can choose this easily based on whether or not there's one of something or two or more of something. Okay? So, number one. We're looking at an elephant. Mm-hmm, an elephant. How many? One, so we need to say there is. Okay, there is an elephant. What about number two? Mm-hmm, some fish. Some means more than one, and we can count one, two, three, four. So are we going to say there is or there are? That's right, we're going to say there are. So write there are in the blank. What about number three? Mm-hmm, any chairs. Chairs, more than one. So are we going to say is or are? We're gonna say are, but because the chairs are missing, are there chairs or aren't there? There aren't, okay? So we're going to say there aren't any chairs because the chairs are missing. Do you see the outline dot, 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 dot? That means the chairs are not there, okay? So there aren't any chairs. Try four, five, and six by yourself, okay? Let's keep going, page 106. Look and write the answer. We need to say, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Let's look at the first example. We have a picture of a wallet here. There's usually money in the wallet. But it says, is there any money? No, there isn't. Okay, so now we need to try our own example. Number two, is there an igloo? Is this an igloo? Yeah, so we can write yes, comma, there is. Okay, so just practice writing no, there isn't, or yes, there is. Try three, four, five, and six by yourself. Next, D, look and write. 
We have a happy birthday table. There are lots of things on this table and there are some things that are not on this table. You see the things that are white? That means that it's not there, okay? So let's look at some examples. We need to practice saying there is or there isn't, there are or there aren't. Remember, first you need to check how many of something there is. If there's only one of something, then we say there is or there isn't. If there are two or more of something, there are or there aren't. Let's check. Number one, there is a cake. It's there and there's only one, so there is. But what about number two? Mm-hmm, any cookies. Do you see cookies? There should be a plate of cookies right here, but are there any cookies? No, so we're going to write there aren't. There aren't because more than one. Cookies aren't any cookies. Okay, try the rest by yourself. Let's keep going. Uh-oh, there aren't any cookies. Let's read. Oh, I'm hungry, Jake said. Mm-hmm, any cookies, Jake asked. So we need to say, are there any cookies, Jake asked. Yes, mm-hmm, Mom answered. She will say, yes, there are, because Mom thinks there are some cookies. But there aren't. No, there aren't any cookies, Jake said. So, are there any cookies? Yes, there are. No, there aren't any cookies. Now try the rest by yourself. Read and correct. Let's look at these examples. There's some mistakes in some of these sentences. We need to find them and fix them. Number one says, is there any cookies? What's the mistake with that sentence? How many cookies? One? No, cookies means two or more, right? So if we see something, a noun that has an S at the end, it means there are two or more of something. Do we use the word is? No, we use the word are. So we should cross out is and rewrite the sentence correctly. We will say, are there any cookies on this line? Try two, three, and four by yourself. Okay, let's look now at unit 24. What? and how. What and how. This is a little bit tricky because you're going to have to think about a part of a sentence that isn't there. It isn't written, okay? But you're going to have to imagine it's there. I'll show you how to do that. These are exclamations. An exclamation point looks like this. Exclamations is when we say something that's exciting. Ha! Ah, surprise! Okay? So we're going to say something in an excited voice using what or how. Okay? Let's look at some examples. What a blah 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 adjective plus noun plus subject plus verb. Oh, that seems a little complicated. What a nice hat it is. What a beautiful girl she is. What an ugly boy he is. Okay, but do you see that these parts in the at the end of the sentence are in parentheses, that means they aren't really said. They aren't really said out loud. They're implied. That means that there's something that we don't say, but we still know, okay? We don't have to say he, it is, or she is, or he is, because normally whatever we're talking about is right in front of us and we're pointing and exclaiming, okay? So I might see a book Let's say I like this book a lot, it's very beautiful, or very interesting. I will say, what an interesting book. And because you see it, I see it, we see it together, and I'm pointing at it, I don't need to say it is. You know I'm talking about it. You know it is, so it's implied, okay? So the part in the parentheses is not something we have to say out loud. 
but it is part of the sentence. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to say, what an interesting book this is, or what a beautiful classroom it is, or what a lovely day it is, or what nice weather it is. Okay, you don't have to say it is. You just have to say, what a beautiful day, what nice weather, what a beautiful classroom. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you can send me a question on Kakao Talk and I will try to think of another way to ask you or to explain it to you. We can also say it in the plural form. Okay, these are singular nouns. A hat, a girl, a boy, singular, one. But we can also say it in the plural form. More than one. What pretty flowers they are. Again, I don't need to say they are because I can see the flowers, you can see the flowers, we both know I'm talking about the flowers. So we don't need to say they are. I'm just going to say, what beautiful flowers? And you're going to say, yes, they are beautiful. What tall boys they are. What big houses they are, okay? How plus adjective plus subject plus verb. Again, an exclamation. We don't have to say the whole sentence but this might be a way to express surprise, okay? So let's imagine we're shopping at the store and I see some beautiful oranges that I really want to buy, okay? I will say, how expensive if they cost too much money. I can say how expensive they are or how expensive it is if I'm talking about one thing or more than one thing but I don't need to say it is or they are. It's implied. You don't need to say it. How expensive, how smart, how sweet, okay? So imagine you come to class after um, not seeing me for a very long time and you give me um, a piece of candy and I will say, how sweet. I'm saying that as an exclamation to you about what you just gave me. I don't need to say how sweet you are because I'm talking to you and you already know it's implied. Okay, let's continue practicing exclamations. What a beautiful flower. What a tall girl. What tall buildings. What strong boys. How fast. How expensive, okay? Practice saying these exclamations by yourself. And it's a little fun if you say them surprised like this. How fast, how expensive, like that, okay? Practice saying them excitedly. All right, read and check the exclamations. This is easy because all you need to do is look, look for the exclamation point. Some of these are questions. They begin with the, with the same word. They begin with what or how, but they are not exclamations because they end in a question mark, okay? So for the example, what is it? Well, that starts with what, but we know it's not an exclamation because it's a question. It has a question mark. So we're not going to check that one. But number two, what a nice hat, exclamation. So we're going to check because we're looking for the exclamations, excited statements, okay? What about number two? Does it end in an exclamation mark? Yes, so just check it. Just check it. You know this one. What a wonderful day. You know this is the right one without even reading the sentence because of this point right here. This is a question, so we're not gonna check it. Number three, which one has the exclamation? This one, so check it, easy. You don't even need to read the sentence, but I suggest that you do read it for practice, okay? B, look and write, what or how? I suggest that you use this chart over here to guide you. Mm -hmm. The reason you know 
know how whether or not you will use what or how, you need to look for whether or not there's a noun. Okay, this one has what sentences, what exclamations have an adjective plus a noun or an adjective plus a plural noun. For example, what a beautiful flower, flower is the noun. But how phrases don't necessarily have a noun. How expensive, there's no noun, there's no person, place, or thing. So that's how you know the difference, okay? So look at B. How smart they are. Remember, we don't need to, the words they are. Imagine we don't have the words they are. I understand that they is a noun, but remember when we exclaim things, the words at the end, like it is and they are, are implied. We don't say them all the time. So if we just said, how smart, is there a noun there? No, so just use the word how. What about number two? Hmm, big hippos. Is there a noun? Yeah, hippos. So we're gonna use the word what for number two. We're gonna use the word what because we have a noun present. Let's try number three because I know these ones, these are a little difficult. Hmm, strong, they are. But imagine they are isn't there. If you don't have they are, you don't have a noun. So an exclamation, hmm, hmm, how strong. We're gonna use the word how. How strong? Number four, hmm, an ugly frog. It is, but we don't need it is. So cross it out. Hmm, an ugly frog. Is there a noun there? Yeah, the word frog is a noun, it's a thing. So when we have a noun present, do we use what or how? We use what. What an ugly frog. Ugh. And number five, hmm? a cute girl, she is. Cross out she is, we don't need it. Hmm? A cute girl, do we have a noun? Yeah, we have a noun, it's girl. So when we have a noun, do we say how or what? We use what? What a cute girl. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, again, ask me more questions on cacao. I did that whole exercise with you because I thought it might be a little confusing. Okay, let's look at C, look and write on page 110. Oof, this is a long lesson, I know, but we're almost finished. Look and write what or how, and then we need to write the adjectives, strong, dirty, pretty, big, tall, and fast. All of these should be pretty easy because the pictures are on the previous pages, back here. So if you look at the pictures, you'll be able to easily find out which uh, words to choose. For example, the first one, how tall she is, First try to choose what or how, then choose an adjective. We already know that this one says how tall she is because it's right here. Oh, well it's a little different. So we know that we need to choose the adjective tall because of this picture. Remember that statements like she is and they are can be taken out. And once you take them out, if you can see a noun in the sentence, you choose the word what, not how, okay? And then you can use the pictures from the previous pages to help you choose which adjectives to use. For example, what is the adjective we use to describe the, hippo the hippos? We said that they are big. We're gonna say the same thing over here on the next page, okay? So, hmm, big hippos. What or how? Big hippos, because of what it says on the previous page. Now look at D, read and write, or read and unscramble. 
What a beautiful flower. We know that it's this order because first we choose what or how first in every sentence. And many of these sentences are already done for you over here. Also, you have this chart that tells you the order. What or how is always first. A or an is next. Adjective, sub noun, subject, and verb. So if you can identify those parts of the sentence, you'll easily be able to do this exercise. Reading grammar, read and write. What dirty socks? Hmm, uh, hmm, boy, he is. Look at him. He's all sparkly. Do you think he's dirty or clean? Look at the word bank below. Smart, dirty, tall, handsome. Oh. Okay, so in the first picture, he's handsome. So we're going to say, what a handsome boy he is. And look, he's solving all these problems on the board. So are we going to say he's smart, dirty, tall, or handsome? In the last page, uh, next picture, he's playing basketball and he's dunking the ball. So is he smart, dirty, tall, or handsome? But in the last picture, look at his socks. Hmm, hmm, socks they are. Smart, dirty, tall, or handsome. And you must choose what or how. Then when you're finished, write the sentences again down here. Okay, I'm actually going to stop this video. I know that we still need to do our review together. Um, well, actually, I think I can finish it. Remember that you need to do review on pages 112 and 113 and then you are finished. You are reviewing units 21 through 24. Four units, one, two, three, four, four sections, A, B, C, D. Each section is one unit, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay? Unit 21, prepositions of place, in front of, on, under, next to, behind, and in. You need to choose the correct preposition for the sentences that are referencing this picture. Then we have preposition, prepositions of time. That was unit 22. Do you remember at, in, or on? When we use at, in, or on, based on the date, the day, the month, the season, okay? Again, if you don't remember, use your charts from the unit 22, from unit 22 to help you. Unit 23. We need to choose the difference between there is or there are based on whether or not there is one of something or more than one of something. There is, there are, there aren't, or there isn't, okay? That will go here for C. And then D, choose between what and how, which is the unit that we just practiced together. Okay, we are finished. Woo, that was a long lesson. Thank you for watching. You are done with your AHA Grammar 2 book. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching again and have a good week. Bye.